I think the Sheffield Derby has almost become one of the forgotten derbies of the UK. It's been five long years in the, in the waiting, but we're, we're finally here. There's nothing friendly about this derby. Come match day, brothers, sisters, people who love each other the week in, the week out, ate each other for 90 minutes. And it's going to be a chance for the country to see what a proper football city can throw into a derby game, because it'll not be like anything you've seen in the last 10 years. People forget about Sheffield, they talk about Liverpool and they talk about Manchester or whatever and they forget how big this, this derby is. Everybody in Sheffield is talking about it already, it's, it's the big day, we've been waiting so long for this. I think it was 1890 the first time that Wednesday and United played each other and since then somehow we've won exactly the same number of games. This battle we've had, this derby game, it, it goes back years and years and years and you look at the stats and we're even now. It's a bit of pill to swallow. We led it for so long. We consider Sheffield to be the birthplace of football. We've got the oldest football team in the world. So this is where football really started. You know, that illustrates just how big a thing it is here and has always been here. Sunday will be a hugely passionate game. Six years we've been waiting for, for this. With the way things have gone, with the boom in the Premier League and how big it's got, Sheffield has sort of just drifted away as, as being you know, what was once possibly a focal point of, of the, the English fixtures. Sheffield is a hugely passionate city when it comes to football. We've got two teams that have both got a huge fan base, particularly for the, the league that they're in. This is Football City, Sheffield FC, the first football club in the world here. This ground, Bramall Lane behind me, the oldest professional football ground in existence. Sheffield's surrounded by big cities. You've got Leeds up, further up north, you've got Manchester and Liverpool aren't really that far away. This is a big, big deal for the area. The fans are going to be coming out in their numbers. They'll be wanting to make a noise to show, you know, Sheffield's huge. Sheffield is a big, big footballing city. The, the, the sport was born here. There's actually a sign that says Bramall Lane, heart of the city, and that's where it is. We've tended to be the one the underdog, the one that's fighting to stay up where they've been fighting for promotion. United sort of see themselves as being the, the city club. They're, they're just down the road. They're just in the, you know, almost in the city centre themselves. Wednesday just a little bit away off. I do feel it should be a proper, proper Premier League derby, really. There's never really anything between them. And very rarely you would get like one team doing a double over the other. It's just not much in it at all. So whoever wins this one will go slightly, uh, slightly ahead. It's worth mentioning as well, Wednesday won the first derby between the two teams. So we definitely want to win the most recent one as well. It is a sibling rivalry. I think that is a really good example. It is, it is like they've got something that we want and we've got something they want. It's what we live for to beat them. That, that, that is what we live for, basically. Everything else is a, a bonus. As soon as United went up, Wednesday fans thought to themselves, we've got a derby coming up here. So there was that little bit of build up and then the fixtures come out and everyone was excited for when it was going to happen. Not only have we won the same number of derby games, we're, we're pretty much level in the, in the table so far this season. And you know, the, there is a huge amount of parity between the two teams at the moment. No matter what we did, we, were always, we could always turn around and say, we don't matter where you are in the league because we're in a higher league. And now they've actually took overtook us for the time being. They're letting us know about it, which is fine because obviously we've given it them. So they're getting it back. We always say that it's like Sheffield football in general, it goes in cycles all the time. We'll have a few years on top, they'll have a few years on top. They've just had their last five years, it's our turn now. Sheffield is red and white. They're not even from Sheffield, they're from South Barnsley. So this is one of the cases. It says up on there, you've seen it on the other stand, Sheffield is red and white. That means nothing to them lot. The pigs come from that end and the working class Sheffield fans come to the city centre, the art of the city. Wednesday fans have a, it's hard to say arrogance, but they, they, they have that little bit more about them where they're thinking, well, you know, we're looking at the big picture here. This isn't the, our biggest game. United fans, they will see this as a big game, as a, as a way of showing we're back. You know, this is where we belong. This is Sheffield, this is Football City. Everybody's going to know that we take this game more seriously than we take anything else. Both Sheffield clubs, we're, we're truly passionate about our teams and I suppose that's why there's so much hatred between us. You look at the Sheffield derby and the atmosphere around it, I'm lucky enough um, to have been to quite a few. Uh, I've seen some brilliant wins and some losses. Uh, the one that I do remember was the FA Cup semi-final in 1993, where Wednesday dominated pretty much from, from start to end. Uh, but United gave us a real run for our money and it took us till extra time before we got that winning goal. We won 2-1. And the players' faces when they came up out for their warm down, and there's still 4,000 United fans in Leppings Lane end singing songs and cheering them on. 
that sums up the atmosphere. You talk about splitting families, I'm, I'm one of the unlucky ones in that I'm from a mixed marriage. When we played him at Wembley a few years ago, my wife were at one end of uh, Wembley and I were at the other end. And uh, we, every time when there is a derby match, she'll go home to her parents and I'll go home to mine just, to, just so that there's no trouble between us at the end, <laughs> because it is that bad. We go into the game wanting to G the team on because we don't want to lose. And that's where the atmosphere can be cut with a knife because one solid move and everybody will be on their bikes.